Hello, it's Stuart, the Unrepented Atheist, and I'm making this video today because uh, there's been a bit of a hiccup for the line, Jimmy Snow's the line. I don't know whether it's a hiccup or I don't know whether it's a, a death blow, but while I was watching the uh, recorded uh, stream from yesterday, I, um, I tried to make a comment and the, the video suddenly just vanished and said it's gone private. I went to the channel and it said uh, this channel does not exist. So I did find that really strange. <clears throat> I realized as a YouTuber myself, channels can run into hiccups, but personally, I've never known a channel to just vanish like that. You know, and I, obviously I'm subscribed to a lot of channels and just like a lot of you guys are, I've, no, I've never known a channel to just simply vanish. I mean, without any warning. <clears throat> so I've been to Jimmy Snow's Twitter account just to see what he's got to say. I'll read it out to you. So he said he's getting a lot of uh, direct messages, so he wants to just uh, hit this at once. Number one. No, I'm not okay. I'm stressed and sick from stress. I believe I will be okay, but this is basically a nightmare. Well, I can relate to that 100%. Obviously, it's Jimmy's um, source of income, I understand. I trade on eBay. And that is sort of like 99% my income source. 1% <laughs> is my YouTube income. Um, so uh, if my eBay account suddenly vanished, I'd be panicking just like he is. I mean, it would be an absolute, for me, catastrophe because obviously just like Jimmy, I've, I've got expenses. I'm not, uh, I haven't got resources uh, uh, to last more than a week or two. <laughs> Um, so yeah, well, obviously I empathize with him hundred percent. Um, number two, I don't know how it happened. It seems consistent with other large channel hacks lately. I'm not familiar with any, any of those large channel hacks. I'm not too sure what he's referring to there. Number three, I know they successfully got my YouTube and personal Facebook taken down. I don't know what else. Strangely, it seems to only be Jimmy Snow and the line that got screwed so far. So, um, they, who could they be? They got my YouTube and personal Facebook taken down. That doesn't sound to me like hack. It doesn't sound to me like a hack. It sounds to me like uh, maybe by some other means. Maybe, um, I don't know. That's weird. Four, I don't know what other accounts info of mine they have. Five, I'm currently working through the process of getting YouTube back. The process right now is basically fill a form, get an email, fill a new form get an email, rinse, repeat. Okay. Well, I don't know exactly what they've done. I know that, I mean, if I was malicious and I got hold of somebody's password and I got into their YouTube account, um, I mean, you could start a process of permanently deleting videos. And once those are, once those are deleted, there's absolutely no recovering them. It also impacts massively on the algorithm. Um, and I mean, for example, if you're used to your videos getting 50, 60,000 views in a week and you have a few dozen videos deleted, that 50 or 60,000 views could suddenly drop to two or 3,000. It would be a massive, it would be a massive uh, traffic shortfall. <clears throat> but obviously you don't know what's happened, whether they've deleted material but the longer, the longer your material spends off YouTube, uh, most YouTube traffic comes from recent views. Yeah. So typically people who viewed within the last week will be shown a thumbnail either in suggested videos or on, on the homepage. And the, the longer it goes that you haven't, uh, since you last saw one of those videos, the less chance there is of those thumbnails appearing back on somebody's homepage. So if his channel goes one or two weeks without, um, without getting back online and getting traffic, the hit on his, the hit on his traffic basically will be absolutely catastrophic. It, I mean, it will take time. It will, it will come back. It will, it will take some time to come back. A lot of people don't realize it's not subscribers who provide traffic to um, accounts like Jimmy's and mine as well. 
it's uh, it's recent views from non subscribers only about one in ten of your traffic what ten percent comes from subscribers um, let's have a look uh, so n number six the question can I help is very kind but I legit have no idea how anyone could well I absolutely agree with that uh, unless there are any YouTube experts out there who who have been through this before and know what the problem is Number seven, it makes me angry to see someone say, don't stress or they'll fix it or you got this. I can absolutely sympathize with what he's saying there. Obviously, people think they're being helpful when they throw these sound bites at you. But yeah, um, there's nothing to be said, really. He, he needs the problem fixing. He doesn't need sound bites. Uh, although obviously people are offering support and they're dumbfounded as well. They don't know what to say. Number eight, I've been experiencing burnout and severe depression for the last week, few weeks that I've mostly kept to myself. Yesterday on Aaron's show, I announced I'm going on a break for a week. When asked what for, I jokingly said, so I don't kill myself. Well, that's interesting. It looks like somebody's uh, created that holiday for him by taking down his channel. Um, there isn't a danger of self-harm at the moment, and it was kind of a way of externalizing that depression. Part of me wanted to really communicate how important that break was to me. This was meant to be the first day of that break. Tremendous. Yeah, well, I mean, I empathize with him 100%. I mean, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest Jimmy Snow fan. I make no secret of that. And uh, today's program that I watched... I watched nearly all, all of it. Uh, I thought it was exceptionally poor, but that's irrelevant. Uh, you know, the only thing that is relevant is that his channel, as I speak, is still not back online. I thought it might be something to do with my cachet or something or, you know, something like that. But um, I tried it on different browsers and it was exactly the same. I'm just checking it again. Yep, still unavailable. And the time here, you, uh, GMT, is 23.25. So, still nothing. Um, you never know. It might, I mean, it might just suddenly appear back once they, because obviously YouTube want to make money as well and they get 50% of his revenue. They'll want to get him, they'll want to get him online, back online as soon as possible once he's gone through the red tape. So, well, we'll have to see what happens. But, you know, if any of you guys know anything, I'd be very interested to know. And did you notice as well as I did that this happened? That's all for now. And I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye for now.